Adrian Wadwitz from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Adrian Wadwitz, January 6, 1977, April 8, 2014, was an American feminist scholar of 18th century British literature and a noted Wikipedian and commenter upon Wikipedia, particularly focusing on gender issues. In April 2014, Wadwitz died from head injuries from a fall while rock climbing. Section 1 Early Life Section 2 Academic Career 2.1 Education 2.2 Digital Humanities Section 3 Wikipedia Editing and Advocacy Section 4 Climbing Section 5 Death Section 6 Works Section 7 See also Section 8 References Section 9 External links Section 1 Early Life This section contains link to the PDF file with the text Editing Wikipedia featuring Wadwitch as the face of Wikipedia. Adrian Wadwitch was born on January 6, 1977 in Omaha, Nebraska to Betty M., a nurse, an attorney, and Ethan R. Wadwitch, a Lutheran pastor. She graduated from North Platte High School. Wadwitch studied English literature and received a degree in English from Columbia University in 1999. In 2011, she obtained a PhD from Indiana University and became a postdoctoral fellow and at the Center for Digital Learning and Research at Occidental College. She was chosen as a Mellon Digital Scholarship postdoctoral fellow and a Haystack Scholar. Section 2 Academic Career 2.1 Education Wadwitch graduated magna cum laude from Columbia University and later received her master's and doctoral degrees in British literature with a minor in 18th century studies from Indiana University. She completed both a master's thesis adopting Thomas, the fellow of religious appropriation in the age of reason, 2003, and her doctoral dissertation, Spare the Sympathy, Spoil the Child, Sensibility, Selfhood, and the Maturing Reader. 1775-1815-2011. Her dissertation combined her research interests in archival work, children's literature, and gender studies. In it, Wadwitz studied the use of language and discursive strategies such as embedded narratives in children's books by Mary Wollstonecraft, Anna Latia Barbold, Charlotte Smith, Maria Edgeworth, and others. She argued that through such reading, the child was supported in the construction of a sympathetic self that was collective, benevolent, and imaginative. She also argued that the kinds of subjectivity displayed in late 18th century children's literature challenged the dominant Lockean model by drawing upon Roger's theory of education and the discourse of sensibility to construct the sympathetic self. Ellipse. Significantly, this sympathetic self was available to both sexes and to children. Unlike other versions of the self based on sensibility, it was not predicated upon femininity. Moreover, maturation did not depend on age, but rather on one's state of mind. Any person educated through this sympathetic literature could be an adult and participate in civic society through, for example, charitable acts. Moreover, through its analysis of how childhood reading informed the reading of adult novels by Jane Austen, it argued that contemporary readers of Austen would have read her novels didactically and followed the structural patterns of the children's literature they grew up reading rather than seeing the irony we value today. 2.2 Digital Humanities In 2009, Wadwitz began putting the New England Primer online, culminating in a permanent online exhibit in 2012 with the text and annotated transcriptions. She published on topics including 18th century children's literature, ambiguity in historical scholarship, and use of Wikipedia in the classroom. Writing about the use of Wikipedia in education, she argued that in addition to traditional writing and research skills, 
students to develop skills in media and technological literacy. Reflecting on the construction of knowledge, she emphasized the need to assess sources, distinguish between fact-based and persuasive writing, and be aware of authority and legitimacy. She prompted the development of curricula that included collaborative writing, development of writing skills in the context of a community or practice and writing for a global readership. Section 3. Wikipedia Editing and Advocacy this section contains a video file with the text Wadwich video, the impact of Wikipedia. Wadwich made her first edit on Wikipedia in 2004 and went on to create articles on female writers and scholars, several of them becoming featured articles. She originally edited anonymously for several years before revealing her gender. She made nearly 50,000 edits in all. As a major prompter of getting more women to edit Wikipedia to help and systematic bias, she said, We need more female editors, more feminists who can be editors of any gender, and more editors willing to work on content related to women. The single most underrepresented group on Wikipedia is married women of color with children. She increasingly became seen as an authority on Wikipedia and particularly on the encyclopedia's gender issues and was cited as such by organizations such as the BBC. Wedwitz also served on the board of the Wiki Education Foundation, whose board chair and executive director noted that her impact on work promoting Wikipedia as a teaching tool can be seen throughout the education program. Section 4. Climbing Wedwitz enjoyed rock climbing, which she described in 2013 as enabling a new narrative about herself beyond that of her bookies Piano loving, sorry, piano playing, Wikipedia contributor. Quote, For me, one of the most empowering outcomes of my year of climbing has been the new narrative I can tell about myself. I'm no longer Adrian Scholar, book lover, pianist, and Wikipedian. I am now Adrian Scholar, book lover, pianist, Wikipedian, and rock climber. This was brought home most vividly to me one day when I was climbing outdoors here in Los Angeles and people on the beach were marveling at those of us climbing. Suddenly I realized I used to be the person saying how crazy or impossible such feats were and now I was the one doing them. I had radically switched subject to positions in a way I did not think possible for myself. That I realized is what I want my students to experience. That radical switch and growth. It is an enormous goal and I would love to hear how others work in achieving it with their students. Section 5. Death. This section contains an image file with a text, a digital media tribute to Adrian Wadwich at Occidental College. On April 8, 2014, she died from head injuries sustained a week earlier in a rock climbing fall at Joshua Tree National Park. Sue Gardiner, the executive director at the Wiki of the Wikimedia Foundation described Wadwich's did as a huge loss and said seem have been Wikipedia's single biggest contributor on female authors and women's history. Obituaries for her were published in the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, Washington Post, the Sydney Morning Herald and the Correra de la Sera, amongst others. The Sydney Morning Herald also republished one of her last blog posts in which she discussed how engaging with a difficult activity had talked her about helping students with their own difficulties partly by teaching them to celebrate the little successes on the way to a goal. She wrote that ultimately nothing was more helpful for me than failing repeatedly and that she wanted her students to realize that failures could be part of learning and were nothing to be ashamed of. The journal AVO, which Wadwish had worked for from 2011 to 2012, dedicated its March 2014 issue to Wadwish. Before Wikipedia, for section 6 works, section 7 see also, section 8 references, section 9 external links. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 unported license available at http colon double slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 
Jero.